From the 7th to 11th of June 2021, the Bioinformatics Virtual Coordination Network is proud to present Holistic Bioinformatic Approaches Used in Microbiome Research, a virtual conference. Registration closes on April 14th, 2021. The conference committee and our speakers are working hard to provide an exciting virtual experience to connect to researchers from across the globe. To directly access the registration form, please visit tinyurl.com slash bvcnconf. And for more information, please visit our conference announcement webpage at biovcnet.github.io slash underscore pages slash conference 2021. And now, here is one of our scheduled speakers to introduce a topic they will be presenting on during the conference. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Harriet Alexander. I'm an assistant scientist at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. My lab focuses on the intersection of biological oceanography and computational biology. In particular, my lab is very interested in the role of eukaryotic microbes or protists in the marine system. A lot of our work focuses on the analysis of environmental omic data, metatranscriptomics, metagenomics, to try to better understand the role of these organisms, particularly phytoplankton in the marine environment. Marine protists are diverse group of organisms that play a huge role in carbon cycling and also form the base of the marine food web, yet fundamental questions remain surrounding their ecology and biology. Ultimately, when using omic tools to try to study eukaryotic microbes in the ocean, one fundamental issue that we're always coming up against in our research is the lack of eukaryotic reference information. There just aren't a lot of eukaryotic genomes available to help us interpret these data. In my talk, I will share some of the work we've been doing to develop a technique to recover eukaryotic metagenome assembled genomes, or MAGs. These eukaryotic MAGs may be a wonderful avenue to dramatically improve our interpretation of eukaryotic metaomic data sets. However, while the recovery and analysis of MAGs has been fairly well established for prokaryotes, it's a much well less defined process for eukaryotic MAGs. Over the course of this project, we struggled with many issues, including identifying likely eukaryotic mags, figuring out how to accurately predict protein coding regions in these novel eukaryotic genomes, an issue that's very complicated on its own in typical eukaryotic genomics, and ultimately how to taxonomically identify eukaryotic mags that are distantly related from any sort of known reference. Ultimately, some of these problems necessitated new collaborations and the creation of new software pipelines and tools. However, at the end of the project, we were left with a wonderful repertoire of high quality eukaryotic genomes or MAGs that are shedding light on the ecology and biogeography of a whole host of novel eukaryotic lineages. I'm excited to have the opportunity to give a talk at the BBCN conference this June, as the conference is focused on sharing computational tools and approaches, as well as the struggles that are often glossed over in a typical scientific talk. My talk will be a step-by-step -step instruction on how we use SnakeMake and our local HPC to automate workflows that enable my small lab to carry out global scale analyses.